All right, all right. What is happening, people? So, in September, a lot of those crappy are moving from shallow. I mean, sorry. In September, a lot of those crappy are beginning to move up. Nice crappy there, about 10 inches long. They're beginning to move out of the deeper water. They're looking to stage up for the fall, get ready to feed up. Docks is a great place to uh, catch those fish this time of year in the fall. Gives them structure, gives them shade. It's later in the day. I waited till later in the day, so it would make these docks even better as the sun gets high. These fish will push up in the shade. So, hey guys, let's go catch another fish. You know, probably the most important thing that you can do or position yourself in a dock. Some docks you're gonna be able to pitch lures under or shoot lures under, and some you're just not gonna be able to get a lure under. But it's most important, the wind is to the nose of the boat. And sometimes you have to pull away from the dock, go to the back of the boat and cast under these docks. I'm gonna try to do it from the front here. And uh, more than likely, the boat will, the spot lock sets, the back of the boat will swing back towards the uh, you know, dock there. So let's see if we can get one under there. All right. That LC shad also skips very good up underneath the dock. I've been noticing, riding around, that there are a lot of shad beginning to school up heavily, very heavily. Uh, so that tells me that the fall bite is on, is coming. He's a little bit smaller, Crappy. And I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get my other camera, so, or either I'll switch it to that other side so you can see what's going on. Somebody asked me the other day what I would shoot docks with. Now this is a six and a half foot ACC crappy stick, uh, medium light action, I think is what it is. I have no problem shooting with this rod right here up under these docks. Oh, he was fighting a little funny, he hung on top of the head. He just swiping at it is what he was doing. Just swiping at it. <coughs> Let's change colors here. I'm going to put on a banana pepper. Bite it off a little bit. Shorten it up. I see a lot of mayflies around this dock here. So I'm going to shorten it up. Since these fish are 8 to 12 foot deep, I'm, I am counting this lure down. This is the 16th. Uh, count to about eight because I know as I bring it out it'll rise in the water column. Boy, that was a good strike, but he didn't, didn't get him. Got him at the time of get up here, boy. All right. If I'm done start catching little ones, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. All right, let's see if we can get that in back there, get it out. All right, he hit it, that was perfect. Cast, letting it sink. 
and we give him a California quick once he came off. Now that was that was textbook. Cast it back, a little slack, allow it to begin to sink. Ding. Watch that line jump, set the hook. Now you tell me, I just skipped that lure back in there at an angle, and it skipped and went between the boards and went over. Now luckily it come back. And you tell me, if you tried to do that a hundred times, you couldn't do it, but it just did it. It skipped back in there and went right through one of the cracks in the boards that goes around this dock. What in the world? I'm looking at that didn't break off. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one right there. Boom, on that banana pepper. Never underestimate the banana pepper. A boom. Pretty good crappie, about 10 and a quarter inches long. Yes, sir. Steve's back up there and do that again. I'm gonna show y'all how many crappies in this, under this dock right here. It is loaded. It's time to go find some bigger crappie, y'all. Time to find some bigger crappie. Now, this is a test color called Midnight. Show you that. That's a test color, testing for Dennis, Lake Country Baits. Uh, just a small one, probably nine and a half inches. Uh, we've got several colors laid out. I'm just trying to, since it's a lot of crappie here, uh, a lot of times I'll just try multiple colors, especially if I have some test colors uh, Lake Country Baits has given me, and uh, just to see what, how the crappie will react. We'll break out another color called Champ. See what kind of reaction I have to Champ. You know, a lot of people don't like fishing docks just because you get hung up a lot. I've already been hung up, but I also get hung up in brush. So, all right, so I'm at a good angle. So I'm gonna shoot this lure right back up underneath there. So when I shoot, I flip my bail. I'm gonna grab the lure by the head right here. And you see how much this, uh, this is bowed. I can do it like this. I'm gonna do it a little bit of the angle cause I can pull it back. And uh, I just shoot that bad boy right on over there. That's a pretty good one. Now, every time when it hits the water, I'm gonna sweep my rod backwards and allow line to go, go towards the lure so it sinks straight down. If I just flip the bail when it went back there, it would it would track it would track this way back towards the boat and wouldn't get the depth down to the fish. Does that make I hope that makes sense. So let's do that again. That's a champ color there. You like that champ color? That was first gas, champ color. Show you champ. That's an LC shad, that's the champ color. Yeah, nothing about nine and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna vertical jig this and then I'm gonna move. I know one thing, it's wake boats coming. I got to uh, get away from this dock. Look what a way you go. Yeah, 
You know, my old javelin boat, if I turned the nose of the boat into those uh, wakeboards, it would dip down and take water over the front of the boat. Now, sometimes you gotta get down in there low to get a lure back there. And you gotta kinda lean over. I like to put the rod tip right on top of the water and pitch it back. Oh, I just got bit. I did not hang him though. Let's see what happens here. There he is. He come back. Either another one or he come back and got it. Cutting up. He thinks he's a monster, but he's not a monster. He's about nine and a half inches. You know, when uh, when fishing the dock, you're gonna learn where your braces are at. And you'll learn to, sometimes you can visibly see the braces, so you can kind of avoid them. And sometimes just a matter of you know, just a matter of fishing it multiple times, uh, you figure out kind of where the braces are. One right there, boom. Uh, first cast, that's a good sign. Now that's called a North Carolina quick release. He fell off in the boat. He falls off before he gets to the boat. That's a California quick release. Come here, let's look at you. He's camera shy. All right. He's just a small fry. He's about nine and a half inches long. Turn him back. Catch him another day. I got back up here. Kind of got away from those oh, got away from those Oh, well, I just had one. Kind of got away from all of those uh, weak boats down the lake there. There's another one. Oh, yeah. That's a little bit better fish right here. Ah, uh, boom. Now that's champ color here in the LC Shad. It's been a good color today. I'll show that to you. That's that champ color. And uh, been a good color. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna keep fishing it. Boom.